We are going to be seeing some warm conditions heading into tomorrow, but it's short lived, Catherine, because by Tuesday we drop down a little bit, basically just above average instead of being well above average. But let's go out to the uh, Oregon coast, the northern Oregon coast over in Cannon Beach. Uh, temperatures right around the upper 50s right now, kind of windy at times. Winds coming in from the northwest about 20 miles an hour, but it's been almost picture perfect. Catherine, and I have been talking about that here uh, this evening, just how wonderful it has been throughout the coast, the valley and the mountains. The only little hiccup that's been uh, popping up is uh, on the radar, and that's a little bit of those thunderstorms uh, throughout the central and eastern side of the state. And we are seeing those on the radar right now. I'll get to that in a second, but I want to focus on the sunshine along the beaches. A little overcast over Newport at 55 degrees. Crystal clear skies here in the valley. Once again, those morning clouds kind of lingered around. I was expecting to see temperatures closer to the mid 80s. Uh, when we spoke on last night, yeah, we're running about 10 degrees cooler from forecasted because of the uh, kind of that onshore flow that we saw that kind of took a little bit while to see those clouds melt away a little bit. But uh, today we saw highs right around the upper 70s. I wasn't that off. If you're anywhere between three to five degrees, I'd say that's a win, even though it was a little bit a little farther off. Average is 73. The record was at 97 degrees just a couple of years ago. No record heat in play here the next couple of days, but we are going to be seeing a bit of a warm up heading into tomorrow on the future cast or on the radar, I should say. Like I said, all is quiet throughout the coast, the valley, and in the Oregon Cascades. The more east you go, let's say well, along Highway 97, along the Oregon-Idaho border, you are going to be seeing some increasing thunderstorm activity tonight and a little bit into tomorrow as well. It's not expected to move off to the west, so I'm not expecting to see much in terms of uh, a rain and any threat of thunderstorms here throughout the valley over the next couple of days. Again, those showers could be rolling in through parts of the high desert tomorrow afternoon uh, near Bend and Redmond along the central and eastern side of the state, but heading into the next couple of days, we're really going to be looking at relatively quiet conditions in terms of rainfall amounts. Uh, we're not going to be seeing anything. Kelsey, you might see a little bit heading into the early part of the week, but for the most part, it's going to be sunny and dry and very pleasant. Highs today, we topped out in the upper 70s to low 80s, 81 Aurora, a little bit warmer in McMinnville with a daytime high of 83 degrees and along the east side of the state, the Dallas, you saw temperatures in the low 90s and uh, over the next few days again, we have that ridge of high pressure that's going to be in place place the next couple of days. It's going to be pretty strong heading into tomorrow, but the activity in terms of you know inclement weather will be throughout the Oregon Cascades uh, later tomorrow afternoon with a chance of some of those thunderstorms. Now I'm expecting to see parts of the central and eastern side of the state see those thunderstorms roll through as well. Sunny and warm throughout the Columbia River Gorge. Daytime highs a little bit warmer, especially near the Dallas getting into the low to mid 90s and tomorrow we'll be waking up to temperatures in the low 60s, mid 70s by lunchtime with a daytime high of 90 degrees and on that seven day forecast. Like I said, that heat is short lived because heading into Tuesday and into the middle part of the week, we'll be seeing temperatures in the low to the mid 70s and a chance to see some showers. Catherine roll in late Friday into Saturday, but I think we're going to drink in all that sunny and warm conditions over the next few days.